There we go. That looks like Tundra. Hell yeah. And I've arrived. Mercy me! <laughs> Hello friends, my name is Brandon Dayton, and I'm your humble narrator. Welcome back to Planet Nomads. Yes. We're gonna do the thing today. Uh, I want to go to the south and see if I can find some more mysterious metals. Um, I've got another car that I'm planning on building, but for now, this car is going to serve me just fine. So uh, let's get this generator powered back on, and so I can uh, find my way back to the beacon, to the base with the beacon, and I need to uh, turn my vehicle on, as per usual. I'm sure there's an easier way to do this, so let me know if you guys know how to do that. Uh, it says in the game control options that spacebar is to put the vehicle into a sleep mode, but uh, it doesn't seem to give me any sort of confirmation on that, so I get a little bit nervous. Uh, I've got four battery cells here. Hmm. I guess, uh, how do I split this stack? Hmm. Well, I just dropped all of them. That, that's not how you do it. I'm going to pack these battery cells in. I know it's not going to be that long of a trip, but... Yeah. I'm sure we'll need them at some point. So, there's four more battery cells. And then, uh... Let's just make a few more. If I can make four more, that would be helpful. Uh, I need ALM. So, four of those and composite parts, which I have three, just need one more. That should do nicely. And uh, we've got a good amount of iron, carbon, etc. in here. Hmm, cobalt, aluminum, silver. Maybe I should just stash it in this box. That couldn't hurt. I'm probably not going to end up needing it out there on the road. At least, uh, not that I can foresee. But, you know, I've been wrong before. Many times. <laughs> Who knows how it's gonna go. Nobody can say for sure. Hmm. Super alloy mechanical parts. Xehanite. Titanium. So I, I suspect Xehanite and Titanium will be found in the, uh, the south. I've got uh, a good outpost going to the north, just from a beacon that I found and kind of made my own. So that should uh, that should work relatively well. The beacon's marked on the map and everything. I ain't too worried about all that. I'll craft these up. My battery's ticking away on the vehicle, I think, so uh, I want this to be done as quickly as possible, but you can't rush these things. These things just take time. And for some reason, this uh, bed is not connected still. Maybe I should connect it to this other generator. I think that's my problem. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Connect it here. Bam. Ah, my lovely little base. I should make a, an indoors part. But, yeah, at the moment, whatever. <laughs> it's gonna be just fine. We're doing okay. Uh, I'm gonna drop these biomass off as well. Hmm, I've got many stacks of silicon and iron. Do I need any of these with me? It couldn't hurt to take it. I could just find some out there on the road too though, so I'll leave it. Gonna need to build another container here. Always with the containers, right? Dang. Boom. Done and done. Compact containers. Can you stack them on top of each other? That should be a, a, a good thing to ask, right? Yeah, you totally can. I'm gonna make a whole shelf of containers. Oh, but then you have to access the uh, different parts of the shelf separately. Eh, that's okay. That's alright. Can't blame him for that, I suppose. So I'll put my fabricated goods in this uh, this container. 
Got some biomass. I think I should drop off my fruitage and seeds. And uh, hopefully we'll have some goodies when we get back in the, the food whatnots. Yeah, I can leave all the ore. I've got a little bit with me. At least probably enough to do what I need to do. Out there on the road! Such is my life here on the road! Okay. That's a good amount of stuff. Hmm. Got plenty of water. Probably need a little more biomass. Yes. Well, well, well. Yeah, I need biomass to do whatever I'm gonna do. I'll just, uh... I'll let it run for now. It's gonna be okay. I know it's gonna run out of biomass, but... I'll come and fill it up someday. Someday! And making 29 of those, but they're not all gonna get made. Whatever. Whatever, whatever, I do what I want. It's my sexy body, whatever. You don't own me, whatever. Okay. Now we got a good four hours left on this battery. We'll head to the south. We went to the north and we found a, a vast desert. Now we head to the south. Hopefully find some tundra. And uh, I'll fill up my inventory and my truck's inventory. Did get stuck a little bit as well, so I hope that doesn't happen. Roadkill! 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 Hey, bro! You're pretty tough, huh? I'm pretty tough, too. Especially when I got a vehicle. Did he die? He didn't die. My god. What a monster. Eh, whatever. I let you live for now. Don't fuck with any of my shit. <clears throat> Uh, if I say too many bad words, YouTube's gonna be like, hey, demonetized video. And I'll be like, I don't care. The first game I ever played on my channel was Hotline Miami. And do you know how many, uh, music copyrights that game got? All of them. <laughs> All of the music copyrights. I turned the graphical quality back up, but, uh, it seems to be lagging just a little bit. That's troubling. Maybe I'm moving too fast. Moving too fast for all this shit to load in. Alright. Show me something interesting. Hmm. How? How can I get down this slope safely? I suspect over there. Oh god. Oh god. Oh Jesus. Oh please. This. Um. Um. Okay. 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 It's fine. I will have to dig it out to get back up it. But we got down it okay. Oh, we can get back up it from uh, from that direction over there. I guess that's going to be fine. Alrighty. Nicely done. Easy day. I don't know if my water or my uh, my vehicle is water submersible. But maybe now is the time that I find out. I really don't want to have to run back past these creatures. Alright. Getting deep. Getting deep. Are we there? We're there. We're good. Excellent. So yeah, I can drive over the water. At least the shallow water. <laughs> that is right there next to my base. Still a little nervous, just in case I hit like a deep patch or something and then uh, get completely fucked. But it's okay for now. We made it. At least uh, at this moment, we've made it. Alright, buggy. Good job, buggy. I call my, my buddy's buddy. Buggy. But buggy. God damn it. My buddy, my buggy's name is Buddy. <laughs> buddy Buggy. Boogie Buddy. Boogie Buddy. Boogie Buddy Buggy. Baby, rubber baby bug, buggy bumpers. 
Rubber baby buggy, buggy bumpers. What the fuck is going on? Oh, that's how you just entertain yourself on a road trip, you see? We're having a little road trip, we're having a good time. Oh, I'm glad I didn't flip over from hitting that rock. You know, if you hit a rock that big in a fucking vehicle, going at this speed, which isn't really that fast, but... It'll flip you. It'll flip you real good. My and then what are you gonna do? Die? I am slightly thirsty. It's okay. I got plenty of water. I just gotta, uh... I just gotta find a good place to stop. Maybe if I find a distress beacon or something like that. That could be quite nice. Oh boy. And be careful going down the hill. That's how we flipped ourselves last time. God damn. That is a... A large patch of water. Oh no, 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 no. Not that way. Gotta find the safe way. I could just launch my vehicle in there, and probably once my other vehicle is done, I will uh, end up doing something like that. Hmm. I don't really want to uh, travel through the water like that. It probably gets pretty deep out in the middle, doesn't it? I remember early on in the episodes, we hit some, some pretty deep water. Oh god. Crashed. Sorry, tree. I guess I should make some good use of this. Why not? Hold on, car. I'll have a drink of water as well. I'm a thirsty man. Can't you see? Mmm. Wood. That's good. That's good. I like wood. Alright. Continue on. Try not to hit any more trees. I'm sure it's not going to go well if I do. Hmm. Hmm and such. I think we can get across the water here. It doesn't look as deep. I'm going to be really pissed if I have to run all the way back home. It could happen. You never know. I would also like a searchlight on my fucking vehicle. It's something that I should have thought about building. You knew we'd be rolling around at night, Dayton. Why wouldn't you build something like that, Dayton? I don't know. Ah, uh, just stupid, I guess. Okay. Kind of blind in the water here. Jesus. Taking a big risk. Oh, shit. Oh, God. Well, my vehicle does run underwater, so that's kind of nice. Oh, my heart's really pounding from that. <laughs> I don't know how far it's going to be to get um to get to where I need to go. I should have mined some more resources. Then I could sit down and make the searchlight now. Ah, uh, whatever. Here we go. Here we go. Hopefully it's not going to submerge after uh, a long time underwater. So we got quite a ways to go. Yeah, this is pretty cool, actually. <laughs> Why didn't I do this before? Because I was scared shitless that I'd break my vehicle. Because, you know, gas combustion takes oxygen. But we're not using gas, are we? We're using batteries. That's how you know. It's very scientific. We got batteries! So, that cluster of shit out there is my... is my home. I really hope I don't lose that from the map, because that's the only way I know how to get back. This little top bar is uh, about as useful as could be. Let's go over here. I'm so glad I'm not scared of the water anymore. We wasted a lot of time running away from the water, when there was no need for that. Hmm, here's some rocks. You know what? I'm gonna stop for just a minute. I'll farm up these rocks. Oh, and I need to reload. Reload with some new batteries. 
Um, can I have this? Thank you so much. Well, there's not much good things in these rocks. And we got an autosave. Autosave, real quick. Take a drink, real quick. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, these rocks don't hold uh, many resources, unfortunately. There's a bit of carbon. And that's it. Oh, there's the good stuff. That's what I want. Hey. Hey, friend. Hey, pal. Hey, buddy. Alright, so we'll probably need a, a bio-generator. Mmm... First thing I'll probably need is a emergency printer, right? Correct. Okay, good. Now I can put my resources in here. And we'll see how it go. Oh, I also am uh, getting a bit hungry. A bit hungry. You are in a well-fed state. And that boosts my sleep meter as well. So, nicely done. Nicely done. Biogenerator. Is that needed? Can I just make a searchlight? Let's see. Where is that searchlight? Mobility. I don't think it's going to be in there. Utility. I assume it would be under utility, right? I could be wrong. I'm probably wrong. We'll do this the long way. Hmm. I did see one. And I'm not seeing it now. Large suspension. Mobile base wheel. Oh. Dang. To unlock this, build a front-mounted searchlight. Well, that's kind of what I'm trying to do, isn't it? Isn't it, fucko? Railing, short railing. Yeah. I'm just not seeing it. That's unfortunate. Hmm, it should be, like, in order. Conveyor, armor block, armor slope. Jesus Christ. Criminy. I think I need to get it from the, uh... The what you call it. The, the, the printer, right? Maybe? I don't know. It's gonna be daylight soon anyways. I don't want to fuck around with that for too long. I got places to go. I got people to see. Things to explore. Beacons and whatnot. Hopefully some arctic tundra. With some uh, mysterious... Mysterious ore. That I might turn into something useful. Oh my. That is an angry gorilla. He's over there. He's eyeing me. Don't look him directly in the face. That's the secret. Oh god. Going so slow up this hill. I could, uh, crank the speed on my tires. Maybe that's a good idea. Cover uh, a bit more distance. A little bit faster. Oh, jeez. I can't climb this because I don't have the all-terrain tires. <laughs> oh, man. Come on. You got it. You got it. There we go. That looks like tundra. Hell yeah. And I've arrived. Mercy me. Hey, Rock Gorilla. How you doing, buddy? I think he could really fuck my day. I'll just leave him alone for now. <laughs> Smash him with the car, but he's like, yeah, that's okay. That's okay. You can't actually kill me. I'm an invincible creature of the, the frozen wastes. Don't you see? And there's some cows or something. Which I've seen before, but I didn't, uh, really notice it. Uranium and titanium. Yeah, boy. Give me some gold. Give me some zanite. That's what I want. Suit battery depleted. Yep. 
There's more aluminum and silver. So I guess you can collect it in any of the, uh, the wastes. Maybe I need to go deeper. We need to go deeper. Hmm. Well, we can do that. There's a little bit of gold. I've got to run back to the vehicle. I'm now being chased by a giant gorilla. Vroom vroom. Hit the boosters. Hit the boosters! Wow. Everything's fine. Excuse me. Coming through. Is he still coming? He's pretty far. I think he's lost interest. There's three raw meats. Waste not, want not, you know. And uh, there's a beacon over there. But it seems the beacons that I was tracking have uh, been lost. So, that's pretty fucked. <laughs> Will we ever find our way back to base? I don't know. Doesn't really matter. This is where I should be living anyways. Because this is where all the uh, the goods are, right? Precisely. Basically, all I really need to do is head back north. And eventually I'll start tracking those beacons again. I think that is uh, one of them. So, I'll stick with that for now. It's probably a safe assumption. Let's see if I can find some more, some more clues of this scientist fellow that went missing. Am I still being chased by the gorilla, or the game just likes the music? I mean, it's cool if you do. I just want to know. Bit of uranium. Ooh, it will give you assorted cancers. I mustn't take off my suit for fear of cancer. And now I'm becoming tired. Wonderful. Here's another dude. Hey, bros. Just coming through. Don't mind me. Excuse me, pardon me. Hmm. I do want to crank up the speed on these wheels. See how fast we can get this fucking thing going. You think 40 kilometers per hour is acceptable? No, bro. Not in America. Tell you what. Even on the Autobahn and shit, we're going like 200. I don't think I'm being chased by a monkey. Alright. Let's uh, crank this to regular speed. That should do nicely. We'll, we'll crank it up slowly, you see. One by one. Do do. See uh, what it does to the battery life. Hmm, nothing, I guess. There's probably another disadvantage to it. Alright. Hey, we're going pretty good. Alright. Adventure ho! Oh boy, another fucking hill. I'm more scared of the hills than I am of the wildlife. Oh, this is where I'm supposed to be going. It's a straight little slope. Oh, buddy. Alright. So, we're here now. There's a destroyed-ass vehicle. Hmm. Interesting. Could I farm this stuff? Hell yeah. Cannibalize. Boop, boop. I need all of this. Thank you so much. Good amount of plating and whatnot. And I can reassemble this and see what it holds. Yes! It's from the mysterious engineer. Hmm. Can I eat the rest of that bio paste? And then we'll have a look. We'll have a look at what the journals say. Nobody's gonna kill me, right? You guys good? Are we square? Are we fucking square? I guess we're okay. So, what do you say, scientist? Still can't believe we lost the entire ship. The damage was enormous. I saw explosions, fire engulfing whole decks. There must have been a critical hole be breached. 
The luckier ones were killed immediately. Some people made... Some people from the science team escaped. I think Sarah and Ma Saray and Manicourt made it to the pods. I have no clue what exactly caused this catastrophe, but there were ominous signs along the way. First, we lost Terry's recon crew, just disappeared off the grid. Then we received updated coordinates to explore Sector Epsiri 2B B2A instead of looking for our missing people. We started experiencing these bizarre technical anomalies and couldn't contact Congenia HQ, which sent us there in the first place. It doesn't matter now. If Air Danny Control intercepted our signal, there could be rescue teams coming in a matter of months. If not, well, I don't want to think about it. Hmm. So this is from Geoengineer Delgado. So we've got quite a few uh, different people hanging out down here. Interesting. What's this over here? Wreck Beacon. I take little electronic parts, basic frame. Give me this. A little more gold and uranium. What did I get so far? We've got the iron and silicon, titanium, uranium, gold, silver, aluminum. Hmm. Still looking for zeonite. Which I guess I won't find it here. Let's stack this back in. Just organize the inventory a little bit. I wish there was a, a quick stack button, you know? Here, shovel this shit in the container. You know what I want to do. You know what it mean. Let's do this thing. Got a good amount of uh, components and whatnot from the wreck. So we might be able to start a new base out this way. I got some stuff cooking at the old one, but... Is it really worth going back for and stressing myself over? Mm, I don't think so. I don't think so. Alright. So that's one beacon. That's one beacon down. I gotta get myself back to the tundra. How did I lose all the tundra? I guess I got drawn off course by the distress beacon. Hmm. Yeah, it seems like I'm more, uh, more west than south now. Gotta get back to the snow. Where'd the snow go? This seems like it might be a different biome as well. It's like a barren land. A barren landscape. There's nothing here for us, gentlemen. Hmm. How much further could we possibly go? Quite, quite further. <laughs> quite much further. Further muchly. Want to see how far? So do I, kinda. But, it'll have to wait for the next episode, friends. Thank you so much for watching. This has been Planet Nomads. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. I sincerely hope that you will like, comment, and or subscribe if you uh, enjoyed the episode. Join us in the next one as we continue searching the frozen tundra for some precious, precious zayanite. Which uh, I'll probably just look up how to get it and then uh, I got a little, a little tip for myself. But we've had some fun cruising around in the vehicle. Uh, eventually I'll find my way back to base. At least that's what I hope. <laughs> Come find out. Anyways... Thanks so much for watching. Thank you so, 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 so much. And uh, I'll see you in the next one, friends. This has been Planet Nomads from Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. And I'll see you in the next one, friends. Until then, bye bye. One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again. Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friends.